I found this TikTok saying that semen has, according to scientific studies, antidepressant effects on women. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. Let's read that paper. So I did. So there's this study from 2002 conducted in New York, which indeed states that in a sample of sexually active college females, condom use as an indirect measure of the presence of semen in the vagina was related to scores on the Beck Depression Inventory, which is a pretty widely used psychometric test to measure the severity of depression. So women who had sex without a condom were apparently less depressed. These data are indeed consistent with other studies who have shown that there is a possibility that semen may antagonize depressive symptoms and evidence which shows that the vagina absorbs a number of components of semen that can be detected in the bloodstream within a few hours of administration. For example, semen contains a number of mood-altering chemicals like oxytocin, which is known for elevating the mood, cortisol, which helps promote affection, serotonin, which is an antidepressant, and melatonin, which helps regulate sleep patterns. So they said that since semen contains all that, and the vagina does absorb stuff you put in, and then they even found that women using condoms are less depressed, woohoo, we found the cure to depression, right? Well. In my opinion, there are a few issues overlooked in this study, which you could absolutely test in follow-up studies, to be sure, but should no scientific world be overlooked just to make this sexy claim? Because if you listen closely, you will have noticed that the study actually found that women who did not use condoms during sex had lower levels of depressive symptoms compared to women who usually or always used them. And this, of course, leaves a huge placeholder for alternative explanations open to explain this link. So it does not need to have something to do with semen, per se. A study from 2009, for example, asserted that frequency of intercourse is positively correlated with both satisfaction with mental health and satisfaction with life in general. But this would not explain why condom usage would seem to be related to depression. Maybe it's having sex in general, but then how did they find the results that the ones not using were less depressed? Well, it is also possible that for some women at least, sex with a condom may be less satisfying than without. One survey, for example, found that 40% of women reported decreased sensation associated with condom use, and that some women associated condoms with a number of turn offs such as discomfort. Therefore, it seems possible that having good and enjoyable sex can have an antidepressant effect that may be reduced by the condom usage. But this still does not have anything to do with semen touching a vagina. Let's also not forget about the different personalities of women who choose to or not to use condoms, right? The ones not using one might have a more happy-go-lucky or rather crazy irresponsible, but nevertheless less anxious, as I would call it, personality compared to their more cautious counterparts, or perhaps some other combinations of personality traits that protect them from depression, which again would have nothing to do with semen being present. So basically, this study in itself does not show any plausible reasons to believe that the components of semen have a beneficial effect on mood because they only looked at people using condoms. Well, yes, okay, other studies have shown that semen contains a few hormones that otherwise are known to have positive effects on one's mood, but still, that is not how science works. You have to think of every possible explanation and falsify it to be sure that your hypothesis is correct. And this is not exactly what happened in this study. Still, it was really cool to read, and let's be real, a super catchy and interesting idea that should be studied a bit more, am I right? But just in case at some point it is indeed shown that semen is a mood lifter, that's cool and all, but do not let anyone you do not trust a thousand percent talk you into sex without a condom. Actually, even with people you do trust, I would still use a condom because you might be wrong. And STDs, as well as pregnancy, can be a little worse than having to take other more reliable antidepressants. Just saying. Now go hit those like and subscribe buttons because it is scientifically proven that my weekly videos are having positive effects on one's nerd levels and on one's useless but fun and relatable knowledge around the human body behavior and cognition levels. And that's something you absolutely want for yourself. <laughs>
It's not scientifically proven, let's be real. <laughs> but I could make a study out of it.